guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Sherry here, how's it going? Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, there's been a personal tragedy in the family. So I am flying out of town um, on Sunday and um, so I'm not going to be doing any readings for about a week. Uh, now I know there's some outstanding private readings so um, email me and I can refund that money for you if you'd like. Um, but if you can wait a week and a bit uh, then I can get that reading to you. Um, so I need to be completely detached from the channel, so I'll also be releasing the zodiac signs as well. Um, but definitely trying to stay on track here with the, tw the twin flame readings. Okay. Welcome Divine Feminine to your reading. So this is going to be a yin, whoa, yin reading for, um, April the 16th until the 23rd. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Cards are really jumping today. Okay, so I'm going to pull the cards first. So I'm doing a split elemental reading. Okay. And I'll also be pulling one card per position for clarifiers. All right, let's begin. So the overall energy for the reading, Eight of Wands. So this is energy starting to speed up. You see the finish line. You're almost there. You're almost completing um, this big race or this thing that you wanted to do. It's manifestation, sending out seeds of intention, having it coming back to you. Very positive energy. So the eight wands could also represent communication. Uh, communication was a big deal on the masculine side. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, so the uh, how do you feel? How are you going to be feeling emotionally? Wow, throat chakra. So major, major theme for the next uh, week is communication, a desire to communicate. So emotionally, the feminine is open to communicating. King of fire, interesting that the queen of fire kept on showing up on the masculine side. So there's fire, there's passion, there's sexual uh, attraction. Now, the King of Fire is somebody who is a leader, who wants to change the world, who is unchained, very passionate, very high energy. So, emotionally, the feminine wants to speak, possibly with a fire sign, but she wants to communicate um, her desires um, with the masculine energy. So mentally, Nine of Cups. So mentally, the feminine feels emotionally satisfied. Um, she's thinking about the people that are around her. She's thinking about her family, her friends. Uh, she, she wants to, or she will be reaching out. Um, like celebrating life, you know, on an emotional level in, in the mental space, she's, she feels happy. So one card, wow, hope card. So healing, hope for the future. So the hope card is actually an air card, um, which is beautiful to see in the mental space, right? So, so much love, 
surrounding her that she's able to soothe any negative thoughts and heal herself. But she feels that her wishes and dreams are coming true times two. Okay, so her physical space, wow, Ace of Cups. Actually, I noticed this card when I first picked up the deck was at the bottom. So Ace of Cups, um, new love begins, being an open vessel. The Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. So a lot of positive energy flowing towards the, the feminine. Physically, she is open to love, to beginning a, you know, a love connection, um, and giving love unconditionally to all. Queen of Swords, interesting. This this kept on showing up in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so the Queen of Swords, somebody who is emotionally detached, um, it could also mean that she wants to speak her truth, communicate her truth uh, in the 3D reality. It's almost like she's standing there with a bouquet of flowers or something, right? She's open to communicating in the 3D. This is a very similar vibration that I'm picking up over here as well as over here. Communicating in a loving, passionate way, truthful way. Um, wearing your heart on her sleeve. Spiritually, Seven of Cups. So this is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there or having a lot of options, but it's it's being clouded, um, confused, lost, needing to make a decision. So spiritually, she is being called to make a decision. So let's see what that's about. Transformation, interesting. This card showed up in the future uh, for the union energy in the extended reading, but it showed up in reverse. So spiritually, you know, she is going through a transformation. It's a butterfly rising from the chrysalis, rebirth, but it's also death of the ego, death of the old identity. So there may be some emotional attachments that she's not letting go of freely. Um, but, you know, the Queen of Swords would indicate that she is trying to detach and trying to um, move on, allow that transformation to illuminate her. Okay, so what is her soul speaking of? Ten of Wands. Wow, this was another reoccurring card. The masculine got this as a final outcome. The feminine was bringing this in from the past. So she's exhausted. She feels that she's carrying a lot of burden. Um, but this indicates the end of that cycle. Now, the Nine of Wands also showed up as a final outcome. Oh, just one minute. Oh. So sorry about that. Yeah, so, um, she, you know, the overall energy or message from the universe was the, for the feminine to put down the burden and look after herself. Seek out soothing, healing energy and that's already in your mind um i see a lot of detachment happening here allowance and transformation so the burden is coming to an end all right so let me pull one card as the final message from the universe alien emerges so this is about feeling out of your element and that's kind of what I was feeling here you know like the sense of confusion during this rebirth and being afraid to l completely to get let go of something right the ten of swords actually showed up um, in reverse in the extended version so there is some pretty heavy energy surrounding the feminine I feel you know 
fragility, um, vulnerability. I don't know why I'm shuffling these cards, by the way. Um, I guess maybe Spirit wants me to pull an additional card. Okay, so Page of Wands, this is a new beginning, exciting news. So if you're able to transform, release, and end this burden, your hopes and dreams are coming true. This is new light, this new beginning on a spiritual path. So as one cycle ends, a new begins. So I feel that you've been waiting for a new beginning. You've been waiting for something to happen. Okay, well, let's read this card. So number 43. Okay, so what once was foreign at present is dear. What used to be obscure is transparently clear. What once felt distant grew to be near. What I now love began with fear. Wow, that's powerful. Um, you know, there's that confusion. What I didn't know became clear. What I thought was distant, um, I'm kind of feeling a distance with the Queen of Swords, right? This love is distant, desiring to communicate. Distance grew near. Or it came, what is it? Yeah, grew to be near. And what I now love began with fear, right? So there is that element of fear and vulnerability there. Um, a desire to protect yourself. Um, so the message. A slim mermaid emerges from a murky lake, an inquisitive look upon her face. Is she creepy and threatening or just mysterious and curious? Do not fear the foreign or alien. A foreign, exotic, or unusual element is entering your life. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated, scared, or avoidant. This foreign element may literally be a person from another country or culture, an opportunity overseas, or simply a situation that feels alien to you at first. Use this opportunity to expand your horizons, embrace the uncommon, and experiment with new flavors, sounds, and ideas. Consider challenging yourself by learning a new language or investigating the culture, cultural traditions from another nation. Although it may feel intimidating at first, the foreign element in your life will ultimately be very rewarding and enriching. It may result in a new passion or you may find your life headed in a very different but very exciting direction. Okay, so the transformation, I'm definitely feeling that. You feel you're being pulled in a different direction. You're being asked to um, release something. So, you know, move forth and allow yourself to be expanded. And I think also, you know, the yin card showed up in the twin flame reading as well as a final message for the extended version. So there's a stepping into yang energy from the yin to the yang, um, finding your power, possibly as the king of fire, to stand up, express yourself. Um, but yeah. All right, so I do hope this helps. Um, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right, cheers.